New Orleans is only one place in the world you're going to see this. The people come down here to see the brass bands. This is so much a part of the culture. You, know, you see somebody smiling, dancing, having a good time, that kind of made my day. Since the early 19th century, brass bands have been a staple in New Orleans culture. They even predate jazz. And today, they can be found on the street, in second line parades, and in famous venues across the city. But in recent years, there's been an increase in more contemporary sounding bands. A new generation of players is revolutionizing the genre by infusing hip hop and R&B. While these bands started to surface in the 1980s, they've popped up in large numbers since Hurricane Katrina. They had a few bands before the hurricane that was like really known in the city. But after the hurricane hit, some people came back fast, some people didn't come back fast. So it was opportunity for people who was never established as a brass band. Musician Ellis Joseph took advantage of that opportunity. It was like a void for brass bands in the city because most of them were either traveling or they just hadn't come back yet. Joseph, whose music caters to young listeners, says it's important to first learn traditional music. It's like a prerequisite in brass band music. That's something you gotta know. If you don't, you're not really a full bred musician. However, other young players say learning traditional music is helpful, but not always necessary. If it's meant for you to play the horn and be a musician, it's going to come. There's no such thing as if you didn't learn tradition, you're not a musician. This new style of music has created a generational divide. Have young brass musicians abandoned old school tradition? We play music. What they play is music to them because things change as the years go by. Some young players also say money is a factor. They say they play modern sounds because that's what the market demands. Taking private lessons to learn more traditional tunes can be costly and take time. Younger musicians say playing now is profitable and they can learn on their own over time. A lot of the bands down here don't want to play the traditional music, but as you get older, that's going to be your bread and butter because you're going to say you're a musician, but you can't entertain the people with the traditional music. As the debate goes on, so does the music. <laughs>